Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. May the abundant grace and glory of God in the 14th Sunday in ordinary time overshadow each and every one of you. In today's gospel, Jesus chose 70, 72 men to collaborate in his mission of evangelization. Jesus choosing co-workers to help build his kingdom shows us something essential about our Lord. He is a team player. The Lord came not only to announce the good news, but to set up his church, the association of his disciples, his co-workers, to keep spreading the announcements to the ends of the earth until the end of time. Jesus is saving the world, but not all by himself. He wants to do it with our help. From the Pope down to the most recently baptized believer, we all share the same mission to help Christ build up his kingdom. This should be our greatest joy. One of the ways Jesus shows that he is a team player is by sharing his own experience with us. These 72 disciples whom we just heard about in today's gospel were invited to share in Christ's mission. They generously accepted and as a result they were given a share in Christ's own victories. They came back rejoicing, amazed that even the demons were subject to them. We all can share the experiments of Christ's victories if we only have enough courage to take up his invitation to go out as laborers in the harvest, spreading the good news of the gospel. But Christ doesn't just share his victories with us. He also shared his sufferings, his cross. We all have close friends and not so close friends. Often the difference is that our close friends are willing to share their sorrows with us. And we are willing to share ours with them. Friends who suffer together are stronger friends. Friends do things together. Close friends share their most important task. Christ longs for our friendship. And so he shares with us his most important task, building up his kingdom spreading the gospel, saving souls. If he didn't give us an opportunity to share in his mission, we would be like pets, not friends. But he doesn't want pets. He wants friends. The yearning of Christ's heart for our Friendship is, the harvest is abundant, but the laborers are a few. 
Christ was express a sense of urgency, a burning desire to reach out to all the men and women who so desperately need direction and true love in their lives and to lead them into the kingdom. So many needs, so many hearts ripe for the good news and yet so few of Christ's followers are willing to go out and gather them in. So, dear friends of Christ, you are the ones whom he can really count on. Let his yearning love echo in your heart and resonate in your actions. He yearns for each of us to be his true friend. Today, Jesus reminding us that we are his co-workers, his fellow laborers, his true friends. We are players of his team. Let us also not to forget to evaluate the fact that Jesus appointed his ambassadors going in pairs. A group of boys walking down a country road came across an abandoned section of railroad track. Each tried to walk the rails, but each one eventually lost his balance and fell off. Suddenly, two of the boys, after whispering to one another, offer to bet they could both walk the entire length of the track without falling off. Jumping up on the opposite rails, they extended a hand to balance each other and walk the entire section of track with no difficulty at all. That is the picture of living and doing ministries in our church. We do things better. We produce more. We seem to live better when we lend each other a helping hand. It's teamwork and cooperation that count on living and doing ministries. Brothers and sisters, if we courageously go out as Christ's ambassadors, we will come back rejoicing just like the 72 disciples. Let us ask Jesus to show us how to be better followers. Let us ask him to send us out this week in pairs, in the family, in the office, in the factory, with all the Christian co-workers to bring his good news to someone who needs to hear it.